This is another episode of This is News with Insane Pat, and that's me. Been a minute since you've seen me in the tie and the shirt, which are very constricting. This um, this news report is a story that's been around for a couple of days now, but I'm finally getting around to doing a report on it. I just want to start the month of November fresh. That's why y'all probably going to see a lot of posts this week. So, anyway, this one's about the woman who shook her baby to death, pretty much, because the baby was crying because she was playing Farmville. If you don't believe me, here's the video. A difficult one to discuss tonight. We're going to get through it somehow. Drew Petromo, reporter WDBO Radio in Orlando. The latest, please. Well, she did plead uh, guilty to uh, murder in this case. She faces up to 50 years in prison for the crime. Apparently what happened here was that she first told deputies that her dog knocked the baby off the couch, injuring its head, later died at the hospital. But when she was interviewed by investigators, she admitted that she was playing a Facebook game. The baby wouldn't stop crying. And then she shook the baby, causing it to injure its head and actually breaking its leg. Oh my goodness. Matt Zarell, Nancy Grace producer. Um, so she's playing this game, which we'll get to in a minute. Her story is inconsistent, correct? Yeah, what happens is she calls 911. The baby is transported to the hospital in grave condition. As we've talked about, injuries to the head and a broken leg. The autopsy revealed, uh, revealed abusive head trauma. When the people at the hospital spoke to her, she told the story about how the dog had knocked the child off the living room couch and that the baby had hit his head on the floor, and that's what caused him to stop breathing. However, when they looked at the injuries, they immediately knew it was not consistent. They called cops. Cops come in and talk to her, and that's when she admits to what really happened. Matt, let me just ask you real quickly. She did call 911 herself? Yes, she did. She called 911 and said the baby's not breathing. And did she call relatively soon after the fact? She didn't sit around and have another cigarette? Well, we don't know exactly when she called in relation to the injuries, but we do know that she admitted to cops that she violently shook the baby at least three times before she called 911. All right. Uh, you know hey, now, like a lot of you, I do have a Facebook page. And um, a friend of mine turned me on to Facebook. I mean, to... Uh, Farmville, and I played Farmville for about a month, and I was done. I don't think I played it religiously or daily. I only played it because they kept sending me fucking invites to, hey, I need a cow, hey, I need a barn, hey, I need a neighbor, hey, here's a flower, here's a whatever. And I said, okay, this seems cool, but I thought it got kind of lame. It kind of reminded me of Sim City, the original Sim City, not Sims the bullshit that everybody plays and loses their life over. I mean, Sim City or Sim City 2000, which I love very much life real life had to come to a complete standstill while she harvested her grapes and grass and flowers and what the fuck up and if i'm wrong with any farmville terminology i want i just want to say to the farmville fanatics like there okay so we'll just get that out the way um this is sad this is horrible this is sad. a woman actually shook she shook the baby three times is what was read and what was watched she shook the baby three times. Then the baby, on the third shake, the baby hit hit the baby. She hit the baby's head on the counter. Then the baby stopped breathing. Then what she did is some bitch ass move as blame the dog. Says so the dog knocked the kid off the couch, and then the baby stopped breathing and hit the floor. And nobody knows how long it took from the time the baby stopped breathing for the time that she called the police. Nobody knows that yet. So this bitch, and I do really emphasize. Bitch. Killed her baby for fucking Farmville. Now, don't everybody get up at one time and throw your fist in the air and go fucking raid and um and boycott Facebook because you're not going to do it. Okay, you could, you know, everybody wants to blame Facebook. It's not Facebook's fault. It's not Farmville's fault. It's this woman who has a fucking problem's fault. It was an episode of Law and Order, which started out like this. They went into this house. There was a mom and the mom's boyfriend, and they were playing some game online or whatever. The little girl was locked up in a closet, and they was throwing a piece.